welcome again to Quick Biz Education. My name is Dwayne. Today we're going to be looking quickly at margin of safety. Now this is a simple concept, but as mentioned before, once a new business is about to get into the market where goods or services, whatever they are offering, will be on sale, then it is important for them to do a break-even analysis. And knowing the margin of safety can also help in terms of planning for the business. So here I have a simple definition of what the margin of safety is or how it is calculated. It is really the level of demand minus or less the break-even quantity. So with the margin of safety, it is really the amount of sales that are above the break-even point. So in other words, the margin of safety, it tells the amount by which a company's sales could be reduced or decreased before the company will not have any profit or before the company start making a loss. So it is a safe space to be in you know is is the margin of where you can you can operate and know that you you are going to be making a profit so here we have a chart and um, we have the table here you can use a table and you can also use the uh, break even chart here to understand where the break even point is so the break even revenue or cost on this chart is 75,000. The break even quantity is 5,000 units. So let's say, for example, that in this business there is a demand for 8,000 pence. Let's say this break even chart is for a company producing pence, special pence. All right. And let's say that the break even is 5,000 pence. We need to be able to sell 5,000 pence in order to cover our cost. Okay. And the demand is 8,000. So if we were to do this, it, it would really be uh, a simple thing as, as just making a subtraction. So we know that the demand, right? is 8,000. So it's really 8,000 less 5,000. Okay. So right here now, we know that the margin of safety is actually 3,000 units. All right. Now we need to be able to put this on the chart. Okay. So well, let's just put this on the chart quickly and probably let's get, um, let's use a green for that so we know it is 8000 here so we can mark our 8000 there and then we're just going to make our line up cuz we know it's 8000 units all right uh, that line is not that neat so let's take out that line uh, let's take out this line and let's put something a little better all right so uh, let's take this out, not to waste the time, but just to have it neatly done, all right? So we know we're going to use green, so let's take it here, and then we can do this. Good, that's a better line. Great. Hope you can see this line. So this is 8,000, this is 5,000. So right between this, let's use red here, between this this and this will would be what is called the margin of safety all right so right here we know that we can play with 3000 units and we will not be making a loss so we know we can so let's say the demand is only 2000 then we know that we still have space um to to work with before actually making a loss. So, I mean, it's a, it's a simple concept because once you know that the profit is anything above the break-even point, 
then that's where the margin of safety will be. So margin of safety is really the level of demand minus the break-even quantity. Okay, so that's about it for uh, margin of safety. You know, so when you have your exam questions, it is important that you read the questions, you identify the different costs, you're able to draw the different graphs, and you can also find the margin of safety. All right, thank you so much for watching again. Do have a wonderful day. Ciao.